Hello guys, welcome to KSR Data. Today's topic about busy verification. How usually companies do their busy verification? Uh, so once you got in a job and you are entering into the organization and uh, companies will ask all your information, right? So after that, how they are doing their busy verification? These kind of uh, topics we are going to discuss today. So usually companies will go use two methods. One is a third party busy verification large companies they will give this verification process to any third party vendor so their job is just for verification your process only and uh, they are eagerly waiting for to catch any fraud the reason team that third party verification team if you get caught any one fraud right so they will get extra benefits and extra bonus amount that's the reason companies also these kind of verification companies they will try to catch each and single point so usually like uh, they will ask your resignation letter relieving letter offer letter pay slip and your hr mail id or else your manager's mail id all the information they will capture and they will ask you to the upload into the bgv form and they will verify everything your offer letter is matching with the old one or else your designation is matching with the old one or not and um, your salary your salary usually they will verify from the bank side only not from the organization side they will ask for bank statement if still they have any doubts few companies recently started asking to download in front of them so they will ask you to download your entire bank statement and they are checking and also they will verify manually from the pf they will ask your pf and bank uh, pf statement also else passbook statement and that. this is one process if any small mistakes happen first of all they will ask you to the explanation this is happened we found first give the explanation and it's clearly they got to know it is in a fake experience purely and they will ask you to resign and nowadays few companies terminating you few companies will ask you to force resignation they will force you to resign from the current company right so this process may happen so depends on the companies to company few companies they will verify everything before you are joining into the organization few companies it will start after 3 months 4 months and a few companies will start after 1 year also and in few cases it will start after 3 4 years or else when you are changing internal projects example you join in a company called uh, example i am saying cap jamni and you work for one project for 3 years after 3 years that project is done and you are moving to the another project might be like in a bank kind of projects these people uh, again they will start verifying your process and if they get caught to know any miscellaneous or any things and at that time also there is a chance you are going to lose your job personally i know few people who lost their job after 3 4 years also because of the busy way so we need to take care here and my personal suggestion after one year who are joined with the company with the fake experience uh, my personal suggestion try to change your company after one or one and a half year don't stay with the same company more than two years if possible because while you are changing with the next company right usually companies most of the companies they will verify your recent thing not the very old one and if possible try to use the your actual experience don't put any fake experience try to keep your only genuine experience and look for another job guys i am just to help you people only i am giving this suggestion i am not encouraging any fake experience just trying to make few people aware about this and um, right and another thing is dizzy verification uh, recently guys uh, company started dizzy verification there is a portal called dizzy verification and this is a kind of company only and uh, this come most of the big companies tie up with this company and they are doing every thing with the digital verification digital verification means they will send a link to you while doing a busy way verification and everything and you have to accept for that verification you have to accept and they will uh, get your epf for service history and un history and your passwords and everything they will get to know and they will check your entire history service history un number attached with the un number how many companies you work uh, here most of the people recently get caught with the dual employment you once you join with any company they will create a pf the big companies and uh, during the covid few people they worked for two companies or three companies similar way with the same details and your service is overlapping by showing the process also they will get to know you are worked for a dual employment or else what are the company you are showing it's not available here they will ask you they won't think it is in a fake experience or something they will ask you your company whatever mention your resume that company is not showing any pf history uh, pf in the sense your service history they will ask you at that time maybe if the companies don't have any pf you have to give the explanation and you have to give the bank statement i got salary from this bank from the this time period and you have to explain to overcome this issue or else they will treat this is as in a fake exp and here uh, usually we will get to know why we will get an doubt here uh, why we need to share all this information it is uh, to get access for my service history is an illegal but while they are giving the link only like terms and conditions you are simply accepting i am giving authority to check my itr files my epf reports and my uan reports everything you are giving the authority yourself and then they can able to verify every information of your employment history so in the employment this dizzy verification is clear everything is good if not cleared they will first of all they will send an email to you this is the red mark in your uh, uh, verification process just give an explanation if that explanation is not uh, happy for them 
and uh, there is a chance to lose your job so while going with uh, any kind of fake experience or else any documentation also please take care and also do, please avoid to abscond from your job even though you work for one month or two months also try to uh, convince them resign there and get your complete data information if you absconded simply maybe one month only thought you i worked only for 10 days 15 days and uh, there is nothing happened i have to i came from the company and i joined in another company or might be thinking but unfortunately for that 15 days or 10 days they made any transaction in the uan number that history it will come obviously when you are joining for next company they will ask why that company receiving a leaving letter is not there if you are not able to show that leaving letter it's an a remark on you there is a chance here also to lose your job try to get all your documentation clearly try to make your entire employment history is very neat and clear and um, your conduct also should be good your leaving letter offer letter pay slip everything is in a proper data and proper then only we can able to sustain for long run in it and nowadays depends on situation even though they those company don't have any projects they are not simply saying we don't have project that's the reason we are in simply they are verifying your data again after one year two years also when the company start you are not uh, useful for them they won't fire you directly they will ask you the bgb if they have any doubt on you so uh, my suggestion please your document should be clear and um, try to change your company within one or two years or one and a half year maximum don't stay with the same company if you join with the fake experience after one year try to change your company guys thank you